Hey my awesome rebels, today's video is going to be my DIYs, a decoration to your room, ideas and inspiration, slash kind of organization. But if you guys are interested in seeing these cool DIYs, then stay tuned for that. For this first room decor DIY, we are going to be making chalkboard frames. To start off this DIY project, you're going to need some frames. I got mine from the yard sale, only cost me 50 cents, but if you don't have any luck at a yard sale, you can always check out your local thrift store. So I just took out everything so my frame was easier to work with and easier to paint on. And as you can see here, I am painting it a really pretty hot pink. And I believe it took me, I think, three coats to make it as opaque as I wanted it to be. Make sure before you start spray painting that you put a tarp down just so you can protect your surroundings. And I would also suggest doing this in like a more open concept because I had to close my garage door because bugs kept flying on my paints and the fumes really got to my head. So as you can see here, I'm just spray painting the glass that came with the frames with my chalkboard spray paint. I felt that two coats of spray paint was enough, but because I'm a paranoid freak, I did three. And voila! You just put it all back together and you have yourself a chalkboard frame and it's really cool. You can get people to sign it or you can write a cool quote like me. And this is just a Dr. Seuss quote because Dr. Seuss is awesome. And of course on the other frame I did a Miley Cyrus quote. Can you tell that I'm a fan? And I did have to rewrite my clothes because the first time they were really sloppy. But that's the whole point on chalkboard paint is that you can make mistakes and erase it and keep going. This next project isn't much of a DIY, but I thought I would add it in. Look at your local thrift stores or your yard sales and see what they may have. If you see a piece that you like but it doesn't necessarily match your room, you can always spray paint it to go into your room. I'm obsessed with bird cages in my room and it was originally gold and I spray painted it black. And now it totally matches my room and looks pretty awesome. This DIY is to reuse your old cookie tins and old boxes and stuff like that and we're going to make a memory box. So this is literally the easiest DIY ever. All you have to really do is just paint it. But I decided to take it a step further and paint it and then put confetti all over it just to give it a cool texture. All you have to do now is just put your memories in like cards or anything that you want. next DIY is a book safe. Start off by getting rid of your sleeve cover. Then you want to decide where you want your cutting to start. I usually say 30 to 50 pages in. And the best way to do this is to have a metal ruler, but I didn't have that, so I was just using what I had. And you're just going to go all around your book with your ruler and a pencil and just trace out the rectangle that you want to cut out. Using a box cutter, you're just going to cut out the line that you just traced. It does help when you use the ruler along the way and also I wouldn't suggest using an exacto knife or anything. Honestly, just use a box cutter knife. It's a lot easier. 
then simply just take out the pages that you have just cut out and save them because we will be using some of them for later. And when you finally get to the end of the book, it's gluing time. Just from experience, I would glue the outside first and then let it dry for a day and then come back and do the inside and let it dry for another day. But um, I just decided to do it all in one day. I think it's easier when you do the outside first. Then on top of your cut pages, you're going to glue a page on top of that and maybe another one just so we can get a cleaner cut. Just a tip that when you're gluing, it's good to make the pages kind of soggy so then all the glue kind of gets really in there and sticks really well. When you're done all the gluing, just put something really heavy on top of it so then it'll glue intact. Remember the two pages that we glued on top of the hole? We are just gonna cut a slit and we're just gonna open them up and then cut around them so it's gonna be a cleaner cut. And just because I can't really cut straight, I found a way to kind of hide my imperfections on this. I also think it just looks a lot nicer when I do this step. So basically we're just paper mashing the entire page. So the bottom of the book, the sides, and then the front. I find that when you're gluing the top part to use more straight edge pieces, and that way it'll be a lot easier for you to not go outside the lines. And when you think you're done, you're just gonna look around and make sure that you didn't miss any spots. And then we're gonna put an extra layer of glue all over it just so everything's even and everything's just glossed out. And there you have it, your very own book safe. You can keep your treasures and valuable belongings in here and no one will even know. Some people say you could take this to school and hide your phone in there so you can text while you're in class. I say stay in school kids and keep learning, but honestly, if I were in high school or elementary school and I thought of this idea, I totally would have done it too. So, no judgment there. Next DIY, we're going to be making a wall plaque for your door. So first you want to find an image that you like. I just googled skulls and pink skulls and I finally found one that I like. Then you can either print out your image or do what I do because I like to freehand everything. And I just freehanded it onto a piece of paper just for practice first. Once you are finished with that, you're just going to make sure that everything's okay and then you're going to transfer it onto your plaque that you have. Then you just get your silicone and place it where you want it. Again, I did a skull so whatever picture you're doing might depend on how you're doing it. I find that when the silicone is still a little tacky to push down on it just so it will smooth out the lines a little better. Now we're going to start painting so mix all your colors together and get to work. After I painted all of mine, I did outline it with a permanent marker and then I just finished the background and basically I just dry brushed it black. Don't forget to sign your artwork on the back. And there you have it, your very own door decor or just artwork you can hang up anywhere. The Raquel uh, plaque was actually done by an artist that my mom knew. and. The skull one was obviously done by me, but he gave me the inspiration to do it, and it was such a great idea. I would totally appreciate if you guys like and subscribe. If you guys have any ideas that you think I should try out, then leave it in the comments below. And if you want, you can follow my Instagram at Rocky's Rebels. Raquel, do some editing here. I'm gonna leave all the information and stuff below. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, peace.